Hi there YouTube, this is Big Kid 666999 and I made this quick video to show you how you can deal with the a uh, bug of the Windows 7 taskbar that hasn't been fixed yet. What bug am I talking about? Well I'm talking about these handy toolbars down here in this corner which I'm going to magnify there and uh, it's a really neat way to keep all your programs organized right for example I got utilities in this one and then inside utilities I got all my webcam utilities and Sliceoft, Norton and my printer utilities etc right it's a great way to organize that and then you can have others such as these and uh, you can see how this is very handy now what is the bug the bug is that these toolbars can disappear on you they don't disappear all the time however uh, after random reboots they do disappear and then they need to be restored and you can see how many shortcuts I got in this and uh, so it, you obviously would take a lot of time having to restore that if you did it the hard way so what I do is I created a folder inside my documents it doesn't have to be there but uh, that's where I chose to put it and inside of it there's another folder called toolbars this one right here inside that folder I have the uh, definitions for those menus that I have down here and what they simply are are folders full of shortcuts so for example here I got all my uh, mes uh, messengers my chat programs in one folder and then here I got movie related programs everything to deal with movies and then of course utilities as I showed you and then you can put even folders inside folders as I showed you which create sub menus inside these menus that will be created so this is what you have to do at first you have to create this once this and you can also update it and uh, once you've done that it's actually quite easy to restore your toolbars so in order to show you how to do that I first have to erase all the toolbars to simulate a reboot uh, when it when a reboot comes up without these toolbars in place right so let's do that so I'm just gonna quickly get rid of these one two three and one more and there we are so this then will be the situation you find yourself in it before you uh, when you shut down your computer last it looked like like it did before with all the toolbars down here which now you're not there because after a reboot they simply disappeared and now you have to recreate them what a pain in the ass right well luckily if you follow this method you can restore them in about a minute and minimize the effect of this there's no fix for this bug it will you can not prevent it from happening but you can restore them quickly so if you already created your uh, toolbar definitions as I showed you then uh, all you really have to do is you right click down here on toolbars and uh, let's magnify that you go to toolbars new toolbar and uh, that brings you up to uh, this folder here then you go to the folder where your toolbar definitions are right there and uh, and then select folder and there it is see down here chat that's how easy it was now since I got four of them I have to do it three more times so there we go Null toolbar right you go to your folder a little sluggish here. There you go, movies. Select folder, and there it is, movies. As you can see. So, quickly do it a couple times, a couple more times. There again find your next one which is OCR 
and there it is and the last one response is a little sluggish here with fraps running and there we go all four toolbars are restored as you can see and uh, the only point that I still have to make about this is, is when you put them in you cannot change the order of these toolbars like chat was on top because I put it in first OCR second because I put it in second so you gotta put them in in the exact order that you want them to appear because you can't change them later and uh, so I hope you enjoyed this handy tip and uh, there's another bug also with this uh, uh, toolbar uh, sorry the, the taskbar the Windows 7 taskbar and that is that uh, these sometimes it'll come up and these icons will change to the default Microsoft icon you know the flaggy Windows Microsoft Windows looking symbol thing yeah you're gonna see that and uh, then what you have to do is you have to clean out the icon cache and if uh, anybody's interested I'll make a video on how to do that it's uh, it's not hard but it's still more time than I want to spend on this video right now so Thank you for uh, for watching. You have a good day or night, YouTube. This is Big Kid signing off. Bye bye.